A fine reward is offered for the return of a slave woman, stolen or absconded from the house of Marius Dolabella. Under the protection of Pompey Magnus and Julius Caesar, Senate sits tomorrow. Be aware, no disorder will be tolerated. By order of the Senate, Gaius Julius Caesar is declared an enemy of Rome. All good citizens are bound to do him harm if they are able. Consul Gaius Pompey Magnus has left the city. He commands all noblemen and knights to do likewise. Those that remain will be considered enemies of Rome. Martial law is in effect for the safety of all citizens. Groups of more than three men shall not congregate in public spaces. A curfew is in effect. Any person found on the street after dark will be subject to summary judgment. Long live General Gaius Julius Caesar, savior of our republic, seeking only justice and peace and to avoid the unnecessary shedding of Roman blood. Gaius Julius Caesar has publicly implored the renegade Gnaeus Pompey Magnus to accept truce and lay down his arms. A fleet of ships has set sail for Greece, carrying the army of General Mark Antony. This month's public bread is provided by the Caroline Brotherhood of Millers. The Brotherhood uses only the finest flour, true Roman bread for true Romans. News from Greece. Mark Antony is safe, but most of the ships in his fleet, sent in aid of Gaius, Julius, Caesar, have been lost at sea. Caesar is now surrounded and severely outnumbered. The forces of the Republic and Senate and the Pompey Magnus confidently expect a decisive victory to follow shortly. A fine reward is offered for the return of a slave woman stolen or absconded from the house of Claudius Appius. The following noblemen returning from Greece have received pardon of Caesar and must not be harmed. Publius Servilius Gasca, Marcus Dullius Cicero, Gaius Cassius Longinus and Marcus Junius Brutus. The traitor Pompey has fled to Egypt. Glorious Caesar follows. Parentalia begins on the Ides. Temples will be shut and no weddings celebrated. Public festivals shall be at the fifth hour in the circus. Wine to be provided by the Capitoline Fraternity and cakes by the Guild of Millers. The Gilda Millers uses only the finest grains, true Roman bread for true Romans. Tables for 5,000 men will be set up in the cattle forum. Slaves and freedmen are not eligible. Those citizens that cannot find a proper seating place must leave when ordered by the civic officers. Gaius Julius Caesar has decreed in tribute to their virtue. Each and every citizen of Rome will be issued from the public treasury the sum of 100 denarii. <laughs> Further, 20,000 deserving families will be given farms on the public lands around Capua. Further, for the coming year, all rents, all rents on low dwellings in the city will be paid in full by Gaius Julius Caesar. The claim of the Senate and people, our beloved father, Gaius Julius Caesar, has been declared dictator for life. Furthermore, the fifth month is henceforth named July in his honor. This day, the calends of February, our beloved father, dictator, Gaius Julius Caesar, has decreed that 100 
new men be raised to the Senate of the Republic. The third day before knowns, a public banquet will be held to celebrate those senators. Slaves and freedmen are not eligible. Any repetition of recent disorders will be punished with severity. Senate in session today. No assemblies in the vicinity. No gaming. No prostitution. May all the gods bless our sacrosanct father, Gaius Julius. So, at the fourth hour, a funeral service will be held for Gaius Julius Caesar under terms of truth and in the spirit of unity and forgiveness. Eulogies will be delivered by Praetor Marcus Junius Brutus and Consul Mark Antony. No prostitutes, actors, or unclean tradesmen may attend. By grace of Jupiter, Gaius Octavian Caesar, lawful son of Gaius Julius Caesar, makes this his pledge that he personally will fulfill the terms of his beloved father's bequest to the people. In the fields of Mars, next nine days, all eligible citizens and soldiers will receive 300 sesterces from the hands of Octavian Caesar himself. <laughs> Let it be known that Caesar's son hath sold away all his own property to honor his father's wishes. May such piety bring blessings upon him. The renegade Mark Antony has laid siege to the city of Mutina, but salvation is at hand. The Senate sends an army led by the generals Perseus and Panza, the noble patriot, young Caesar Octavian joins our generals with his own legions to crush the rebels. In the north, a great army under the leadership of the generals Perseus and Panza, assisted by Caesar Octavian, is about to engage with the forces of the traitor, Mark Antony. All citizens are requested to make offerings for the success of our heroic soldiers. Long live the Republic. All citizens be aware that the vassal, Prince Herod, Tetrarch of Galilee, has come to the city. By order of the Triumvirate, during his residence here, all mockery of Jews and their one God shall be kept to an appropriate minimum. The noble Triumvirate announces the immediate departure from the city of his honor. Mark Antony. He will take up his seat in Alexandria as supreme governor of Egypt and the eastern provinces. Tomorrow, at the house of Rufus, an auction of excellent slaves, from pliant virgins to learned Greeks, Rufus has slaves for every budget. Having rejected his loving wife Octavia, Mark Antony has coupled himself to the sorceress Cleopatra, promising her dominion of all Rome. He worships dogs and reptiles. He blackens his eyes with soot like a prostitute. He dances and plays the cymbals in vile nilotic rites. Glorious news at Actium. In Greece, the navy of our Imperator, Octavian Caesar, under the command of Marcus Vipsanius Agrippa, has won a decisive victory over Queen Cleopatra and her slave, Mark Antony. The Egyptian fleet has been destroyed. Even now, Octavian Caesar advances on Alexandria where the witch and her creature take refuge. Today, we celebrate the glory of our beloved Imperator, Gaius Octavian Caesar, and the glorious rebirth of our Republic. At the third hour, all trading will cease. The sacred way must be cleared of traffic. Servile violators will be whipped.